Hello and welcome to the PLC Training Center tutorial. My name is Saif. I will explain how I build this system and how it works. So, first of all, you must be familiar with the automation. In this project, we use some uh, important thing about automation. This will be my last year project in college I have experience about from 2011 in automation system so I built this device to be cheap and um, really useful about the uh, programming in ladder or Modbus or explaining the HMI and PID and wiring diagram as you see at the right of the screen we have three three parts of project the left one and the middle one and the right one I explain one by one how they work how they connected how they programmed so in the left of the screen I designed this wiring diagram to be fit on the project so you can uh, flow this wiring diagram to build your uh, same project or you can design a new project according to this idea first of all you need to know about the IEC 61131 this standard will give you uh, programming language for PLC according to this standard you must use one of this programming language you cannot program PLC with C++ or with Python you must program with this programming language to be uh, to we can call it PLC so I found in the web a program that can convert the firmware of Arduino and you can program it, it with ladder so the left project will be ladder programming according to this uh, standard you can build up your own logic according to the ladder programming and uh, learn about the counter and timer on delay timer off delay for uh, for logic purpose the middle project is about the modbus tcp ip modbus tcp ip is the important things in the automation so you can transfer with RTU transfer the data of, uh, of wellhead or, uh, or other uh, sub PLC to the DCS or something so this is important protocol in the uh, automation field as you can see there is four important register in the Modbus we use in this project coil register for digital read and write so there are two important projects we can do with digital reading and write and another register holding register like analog output we can read and write on the holding register so this two register this important two register will be explained and uh, uh, scan with mod scan in this project so we can scan okay and we can um, make tutorial for this register with second or with the middle project here the third project 
at the right have the HMI and have the PID tuning the PID you must know about PID PID if you have analog input and uh, analog output you must have some logic for that you cannot use contact or coil in this uh, in this situation you must use um, P and P I D or just P and I so PID proportional integral derivative controller will control the end device according to set point you give it in this tutorial or in this project I have the set point and have the P and ID okay and have uh, some a closed loop for this purpose this data this data will be shown in the HMI so the student will learn the HMI what's mean what they do how can we watch the process from remotely by using the HMI So this is the main idea of this project. Another thing and the important thing is a wiring diagram. I built this wiring diagram according to this project and I print it on A3 paper. So you can uh, you can flow the, the wiring diagram and uh, know about how to flow wiring diagram, how to um, detect the error, how to know every terminal how it's work so this is the wiring diagram according to this wiring diagram you can flow anything you need from power supply to the uh, terminals to the control unit have the many page uh, every terminal, every single contact, every single push button or indicator you can flow them up and every controller and screen you can know about everything that you need in the uh, in this wiring diagram so this project that important thing in the automation uh, the programming according to IEC and the Modbus TCP and the PID and the HMI and at last at least we have one wiring diagram you can flow and know about the wiring so other thing I will show you how I built this system from zero I take some image from beginning so I use three Arduino I use Arduino Mega for the Modbus because Modbus have uh, scan time and must send and receive at the uh, some period. So the Arduino Mega was uh, that better from uh, Ono. I prefer to use Mega. You can use any um, indicator like LED. I use uh, the AC voltage indicator and some push button. You can build like this structure to uh, <coughs> this aluminum structure to put these things together. Okay, you must try to check if there's any error by flow the wiring diagram and uh, I beginning with the ladder okay and some terminal and some test and uh, error okay there is hard work many days I, I work on this project 
in all project I use solder so there is no losing okay then build the mod bus and at, at the end I built the uh, PID I, I use LDR and the LED so LDR will be the sensor and LED will be the uh, output and this is the HMI of the uh, PID controller or CU1 this is the HMI of the uh, holding register the, the right holding register okay this is how how the L LDR work and the final result without tag you must add tag to uh, to explain any any device like this relay I put tag on them according to a wiring diagram for the push button or the indicator and some magnifier for the control unit one for ladder programmer and the power supply control unit two for a mod bus TCP and the HMI uh, this is pull up resistor for digital input for push button must use this 10 kilo ohm pull up resistor to detect the state of the push button and there is three uh, cable A1 for Modbus TCP IP XP1 for uh, power and A2 uh, this USB for programming ladder this is the back end and uh, this is the uh, mapping so by mapping you can flow by 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 you can connect to this by IP and test the digital input and output for Modbus and analog input and output and there is a mapping for digital input and output for the uh, PLC this is the push button of the uh, PLC and this is the tag table this uh, push button and analog input and digital output for Modbus TCP IP and this is the tag table and this is a PID tuning so we have set point we have P and I and D and we have the closed loop LDR and LED we have HMI and that's it that's a project okay in next video we will explain wiring diagram how you can flow the wiring diagram or must or or you uh, want to be design new one I will show you how I design it or how you can flow the line okay thank you